I think this Stefania Orlando is a really magical, spectacular entertainment. Um, it's not only tragic, but also deeply funny. Gilbert's staging is incredibly detailed as always. So I always tell people not just to go once, but to go several times so that you can actually follow all the things that are going on. The most important thing, I think, is to think of this as a tale with many levels. There's sort of the heroic level of the characters like Orlando and Bradamante and Angelica. They are indeed uh, sort of heroes. They're hero, hero warriors of their time. And then there's other characters which are living in a different, at a different level. There are sorceresses, there are servants. The central character, Orlando, is the one who is going mad for love. When I was looking at it myself, I, was, I kind of saw myself as you know this crazy character that's kind of sad and in love, and I thought it was going to just be a really serious opera. And in reality, it's not. There's a lot of humor. There's a lot of funny things happening, and. and in my love, sickness, and craziness, there's also humor. It's definitely a comedy, and uh, there's so much spectacle happening on stage. I think there's something like eight different flying machines that appear at different times, and there's all kinds of magical scenarios. Uh, also, we have the beautiful Banff dance team, which, as, as always, are doing something very special. You know, well, we only produce a big opera like this every two years. Yes. So you must come now and not miss it. Exactly, with, with everything, with the dancing and yes. the people flying oh, down. Yes. And uh, so it's, it's pretty rare. It's pretty rare. <laughs>